Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfect Nanos, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our playlist called Labs. In previous videos, we talked about lactate, lactate dehydrogenase. We talked about beta-2 microglobulin. We talked about sputum sampling, Benz Jones proteins, urine electrophoresis, urine uric acid, serum uric acid, urine potassium, serum potassium, urine chloride, serum chloride. Today, let's start talking about urinalysis or urine analysis. You obtain a sample of urine from the patient. Of course, don't forget to label the sample with the patient's name, date of birth, the date of the sample, etc. And then what's the first thing to comment on? It's the urine color, and appearance. Let's get started. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order. And let me start by answering the question of the previous video. What is the shape of the kidney stone caused by urease positive organism? And the answer is, it is struvite stone, also known as staghorn calculus, which can look like this. However, under the microscope, it has the coffin lid appearance, like this. Normally, urine should not have blood or proteins. If the urine has too many proteins, nephrotic syndrome. Blood nephritic syndrome. We talked about the nephrotic syndromes and the nephritic syndromes in previous videos. You'll find all of them in my playlist called nephrology. This kidney is losing proteins. This kidney is losing blood. When you see the word itis or etic, such as nephritic syndrome, it means the kidney is shedding tears of blood. Not everything that shines is gold. And not every red urine is red blood cells. It could be just a pigment. If I ate too much beets, I get red urine, but that's not blood. If I ran a marathon while being dehydrated, I can get my globin in the urine, but that's not actual red blood cells. Also, in some cases of hemolysis, I can get hemoglobin in the urine, but the hemoglobin is not the same as red blood cells. To confirm that this red urine is actually red blood cells, you need microscopic examination of the urine. You need to see those red blood cells under the microscope. This confirms a true hematuria. But what's the normal color of the urine? It should be amber yellow. Why is that? It's from the urochrome pigment. Where did that come from? From the metabolism or the breakdown of bilirubin. If it ends in IN, it is protein or protein related. It's in the bile and rubra means red because bilirubin is the waste product of red blood cell destruction. So the normal color of my urine is amber yellow. Based on my fluid intake level, it could be light amber if my urine is diluted or slightly darker amber if it's concentrated. That's the color of the urine normally. What's the aspect or the appearance of the urine? Normally it should be clear, not turbid. We're done with the normal. Let's talk about the abnormal. If my urine is cloudy, it could be because of food. If I ate a big meal full of fat, meat, seafood, ureates, phosphates, all kinds of metabolites, I get cloudy urine. After ejaculation, including retrograde ejaculation, sperms in the urine can lead to cloudy urine. Normally, the urine of the male has some sperms. They are very few. They will not cause any cloudy urine. But when they are too many in the sample, they can make it cloudy. Conversely, the normal sperm sample of a male contains a little urine because both sperms and urine have to pass via the male urethra. Next, if the urine is refrigerated for more than one hour, it can give me cloudy aspect. And if I have a urinary tract infection, it can make my urine cloudy. The presence of red blood cells in the urine can also make the urine cloudy. What if my urine is red? It could be because of beet. Or it could be nephritic syndrome, hemoglobinuria, myoglobinuria, or trauma to the kidney. All of these will make my urine red, but dark red. But if the urine is bright red, the injury is not up here in the kidney, it's down here. Probably a problem in the bladder or the urethra. This is the bright red stuff. Bright red is from here, dark red is from here. Just like what happened to your gastrointestinal system, if you remember. Bright red in the stool is probably coming from downstairs. But if it's darker, the melana that's coming from the upper gastrointestinal tract. It's the same exact concept. Medicine makes so much sense once you understand what the flip you're talking about. When you give blood a lot of time to pass from here to here, it gets oxidized. When it gets oxidized, it turns darker. What if my urine is dark yellow? This is urobilinogen in cases of jaundice or hyperkeratinemia. 
So here is one type of food that makes my urine red. Another type of food can make my urine brown. Hemosiderinuria can also make my urine brown. What does the word sidero means? It means iron. You get hemosiderinuria when you have tons of iron in the urine, such as after hemoglobinuria. We can see this in cases of hemolytic anemia, especially the intravascular hemolysis, because the extravascular hemolysis will go to the spleen, the spleen will clean it up, but the intravascular goes into the vessel, the vessels will take that gunk to the kidney, and you'll see that gunk in the urine. Pseudomonas aeruginosa has pyocyanin pigment. It's greenish bluish because cyano means blue. And pyo means pus. So it can make my urine yellow as well. If my urine is colorless, that's a very diluted urine. This could be from drinking too much water, including psychogenic polydepsia, or diabetes insipidus, or taking diuretics. If the urine is purple or wine-colored only during the acute episodes or the acute symptoms, this is acute intermittent porphyria. It's an episodic condition. If the urine sample is allowed to stand for a long time, the urine gets darker because of oxidation of bilirubin metabolites. That's why for urine samples, it's gotta be a fresh sample. Gotta be fresh to make Gordon Ramsay happy. Hey, big boy, the urine sample was fresh and aromatic. F me, these are the ideal circumstances to work in a lab. My kitchen is my laboratory. Pan down, Meg. My daughter cannot shoot a video ever. Medications that can change urine color. This is not a comprehensive list. These are a few examples. Rifampin or doxorubicin or phenazopyridine can make my urine orange or red or red orange. Phenytoin can make my urine pink or red or reddish brown. Metronidazole, reddish brown. Levodopa, brown on standing. If you leave it, it turns brown. Iron, if you leave the urine, it turns black. Not just the urine is turning black, the stool of this patient turns black too, such as taking too many iron supplements. Nitroferantoin makes urine brown. Triamterine, the famous potassium sparing diuretic, makes the urine pale blue. What is the urine anion gap? What's the urine osmolality? Why should we care? What is base excess? What is base deficit? What's the difference between uncompensated, partially compensated, and fully compensated acid-base disorder? You can learn about all of these by downloading my acid-base imbalances course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.